What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Well, Andre Drummond, all eyes on me. He probably bumping that Tupac song right now because everybody's talking about Andre Drummond and where he's going to land. He seems to be the biggest piece in the buyout. Well, he said that he's going to listen to over six teams give pitches to why he should join them. So he's going to try to play the market a little bit. But as of today, the Cleveland Cavaliers have officially bought out Andre Drummond. Okay, this is according to reports. Um, so he's free to do his thing now. And now he's free to look at pitches from all these teams. Okay, now the first two teams on the list that the media and everybody keeps harping them to is the Nets and the Lakers, more so the Lakers. Now, if he goes to the Lakers, the pros is he gets to win the championship probably. The cons is you're going to be completely devalued in every single way. You're joining the Los Angeles LeBrons. You're not joining the Lakers anymore. You're joining the Los Angeles LeBrons, okay? Um, there's a lot of fake Laker fans, especially now. Since 2019, there have been a lot of bandwagon um, Laker fans. And Lakers are one of those unique dynasties, um, a franchise that means a lot to basketball. Lakers and Celtics mean a lot to basketball. So they have this franchise downgraded and disrespected because you got a bunch of LeBron trolls coming to Lakers pretending to be Laker fans when they're really not. It's really sad, man. You know, so if Andre Drummond does go to the Lakers, he will be completely devalued. You just be look, looked upon as a guy to help LeBron James win. And also forget the fact that if Andre Drummond joins the Lakers, they could arguably be the best, if not the number one team in rebounding, okay? Um, there's nobody, if you miss a shot, you ain't going to see that ball ever again if Andre Drummond is on that Lakers team. With him and Anthony Davis hogging up all the rebounds, it's going to be a scary sight. And you know what? They ain't going to even get that recognition and credit. All everything's going to go to, oh, LeBron James this, LeBron James that. That's just how the media rolls. Because everything about the Lakers is LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, and LeBron James. Everything in the media, whether it's first take or undisputed, is LeBron James and LeBron James some more. Don't deny it. Just admit the truth. I could turn on TV right now and see who's a, who needs to be on the Lakers more. Um, to help LeBron win. Andre Drummond or blah, blah, blah. Or Cal Larry. Or can LeBron James win the championship? Can he make a comeback? Everything. My nigga. Everything <laughs> is about LeBron James. So... Let's stop moving that narrative or moving that goalpost and acting like that LeBron James isn't the guy that talked about in the media all day, every day. That's a fact, okay? So if he goes there, he's going to be looked upon as a guy that, man, you were nothing until you came to the Lakers. You Nigga! Help me! You were trash, even though the fact that he led the NBA in rebounding four years in a row. Would have been five if he played on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Averaged 17.5 points per game, 13 rebounds per game. Okay? The guy's a walking double-double. All right? Got an all-star start for the last two years. Should have been an all-star. Led his team to the playoffs a couple times. He's 0-8 in the playoffs, yes. But that's suspected when he's the number one option, when he's really like the number two or even a number three. But that doesn't mean he's not a val valent play and an all-star, okay? This reminds me of back in the day. I remember, I will never forget this. Even though Scottie Pippen isn't that dude like Mike, I remember him being on an interview, and he said the only thing people are going to remember about the Bulls is that Michael Jordan got six championships. They're not going to remember none of us, you know? And that's pretty much the same case with the Lakers. You're just there to help LeBron win the championship. Now, you, Andre Drummond could go there and form a big three with the Lakers, but he's never going to get that recognition anyway or props. He's just going to look upon as a guy that LeBron James molded and shaped him into a winner. You know, that's the narrative around it, even though he's been a better, a great player without LeBron James anyway. You know, same thing for all these other guys. You know, it's just, it, it is what it is. He goes to the Brooklyn Nets, a.k.a. the Three Stooges. All you're going to do is just help a super team already with three, all, three superstars win a championship. You're not going to do nothing remotely to move, to move the narrative or move the goalposts of you helping that team out a lot. So you're going to be less appreciated on the Brooklyn Nets as much as you're going to be less appreciated on the Lakers. So if you go to the Lakers, you know, 
you get to probably form a big three with the Lakers, but I doubt it because people are not going to look at it like that. LeBron's extreme fans going to sit there and say, oh, Andre Drummond's not all that. It's just the only all-star they got is oh, wow, Anthony Davis, even though they're playing with a bunch of borderline all-stars if they get Andre Drummond and they'd be hands down favorites to win the championship, but you're going to completely ignore that. If he goes to the Brooklyn Nets... <laughs> You serious? Easy path to a championship. You're playing with a big three super team who can't win the championship with that, right? And then if you go to the team like the Knicks, oh, you're just in it for the bag. You just want the money because the Knicks are in the race right now. So he got a lot of options to weigh out. But the best choice for him is a team that's not even on the list that's, that's going to pitch at him, which is probably the Clippers. You know, if he goes to the Clippers, you'd be on the championship contending team and I don't know if people would look at the Clippers as a super team, but I think you would get a little more value, a little more props if you go to the Clippers because the Clippers aren't a storybook team. The Clippers aren't a selling franchise that's in the media every single day. So you're going to get a little more spotlight on you. You're going to get talked about a little more if you go to the Clippers, opposite to the Lakers when it's the LeBron show, opposite to the Nets when it's the big, big three, three Stooges show. So... It's up to him. I mean, he's his own man. So if you want to take the easiest path to least resistance, Andre Drummond, go to the Lakers or Nets. You know, now where I think he's going to go, I think he's going to be a Laker or Net. You know, um, I think Lakers may change his mind, say, hey, you accept this buyout. We're going to make up the money that you're missing. We throw this money under the table. Boom. We do give you a deal that you offer. You can't refuse. Like the Mafia Don, Tony Soprano. would No longer enjoy the one thing that he's passionate about. Do. And that's it, you know, and he may end up going to the Lakers if they do that. Uh, if he goes to the Nets, um, he'd be taking there's almost the same amount, only could make two million with the Lakers and the Nets. So but the Knicks could offer that man 15 million dollars. So if he want the bag, he could go to the Knicks when he could be the cornerstone of a franchise player. And he have more than enough pieces to help him go to the playoffs and they could be a contending team. And maybe you could lure another guy to come there next season and you could pit officially put this team back on the map. One thing about me, there's no bandwagon, okay? Um, I don't rock with that bandwagon stuff, but to all the people that I rock with, I got some real Laker fans that I talk to, but then again, I got some fans that just like LeBron James. They don't even really like the Lakers. They just did to protect LeBron James. It just is what it is. Prince Sports out. Peace.